guys, welcome back! 25 years ago, a tiny and basic character animation led to one of the greatest video games ever made. So, let's take a look at Lemmings and blow the candles from its birthday cake. What started being just a simple character animation made in deluxe paint by DMA design employee Mike Daly turned into one of the best video games ever made. DMA Design, that stands for Direct Memory Access, was working on this new title for the Amiga, Walker. They were in the need of little human soldiers for the Walker mech to kill, so freelance artist Scott Johnston designed little characters inside a 16 by 16 pixel box. However, Mike Daly quickly stated that he could make those even tinier. So, within an hour, he drawn and animated these blue-haired little 8x8 pixel characters, assisted by Gary Timmons, who also added some graphical improvements and removed the stiffness in the animation itself. Lemmings was born and a PC demo version by Russell K was shown to Psygnosis at the annual Personal Computer World Trade Show back in September of 1989 sponsored by the highly popular Personal Computer World magazine. It was also Kay who came up with the name Lemmings. By then, it was hard for Psygnosis to see potential in that little PC demo and showed little or any interest at all on publishing it. By the way, it was due to PC ZGA Limited 16 color palette that the Lemmings characters got the colors that they are recognized today as one of the cutest little creatures ever created for a video game. So, during the following months, DMA continued designing Lemmings without a publisher. As you know, the game is based in the suicidal tendencies of the Lemming race, but that's a myth. For many years, people believed that when Lemmings migrate, they would jump off cliffs and drown trying to cross huge and wide stretches of water. That myth was fabricated by Disney Studios back in the 50s in their documentary White Wilderness. Lemmings are natural from Alaska and that documentary was filmed in Canada and the images seen in the film of Lemmings tumbling down a cliff into the ocean was one more gruesome act of the human race. Disney's filmmakers brought lemmings from their natural habitat and they were the ones that pushed those poor lemmings into the ocean, as Canadian producer Brian Valley discovered back in 1983 in his investigation. So, the designers of Lemmings based themselves in that image of the supposed suicidal behavior of the race. And in the game, we see a bunch of Lemmings entering the stage through a trapdoor and begin carelessly marching around without any sense for danger, so it's up to us to show them the safest route to the end of the level, even if for that we have to sacrifice a few. There's various roles that we can assign to the lemmings to help them continue their migration in one piece, from diggers to floaters and from blockers to miners and climbers. And the levels were designed by practically everyone who was working for the game, cause the level editor was so simple to use that everyone could contribute. Its friendly user interface, similar to Deluxe Paint, allowed quick level design and even competition between the programmers and designers working at DMA. Now, with an almost finished playable version of Lemmings, Psygnosis promptly declared interest in publishing this highly original and addictive game. Released firstly on Valentine's Day of 1991 for the Amiga, this was the perfect gift to offer to every boyfriend that was into video gaming. But it also helped turning many girlfriends into gamers. So, this puzzle, strategy and action game sold on its first day and for the Amiga only 55,000 copies. 
An astonishing accomplishment for that time. Lemmings cross practically all generations of computer systems and consoles and is known as the most widely ported video game ever. The expansion Oh No More Lemmings and the two following sequels Lemmings 2 The Tribes and All New World of Lemmings are also extremely well made, but the first one, for its originality only, is simply my favorite Amiga game ever made. My copy came bundled with my Amiga 500 and sadly, I just have the disc and this small manual. For many years that fans demanded a level editor for Lemmings. There were a couple for PC users and exclusively for the PC version of the game, but the official one came only in 2006 by the hands of Team 17 on a PSP version of Lemmings. The MA design is nowadays known as Rockstar North, so that means that the minds behind Lemmings are also responsible for the continuous best-selling titles of the Grand Theft Auto franchise and the amazing Red Dead Redemption from 2010. So guys, which is your favorite game from the Lemmings franchise? And what is, in your opinion, the best system to play this type of games? Tell me on the comment section below and share your own experiences. Also like, share and subscribe to the Pixel thing. And while you're at it, check these videos and all the others available on my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next week.